Because the assumption of the New Testament is that as followers of Jesus Christ, we are called to be different. We are called to be different, to be distinct, with the intention being that our difference will lead to influence. Now, if I'm honest, there was a season in my spiritual walk where I didn't want to be different. I wanted to just blend in. I wanted to just go with the flow. I wanted to be accepted and liked by everybody else. So it was like, I'm going to do everything in my power not to be different, but to be the same. Because sometimes when we're different, it can lead to ridicule. We can be mocked for being different. And so the result in my life in that season was I lived a divided life, meaning I operated one way around Christians, but then I lived a very different way around non-Christians. And I can remember there was a season in my life where God was all over me about that, saying, Brian, why don't you live just one life? Why don't you live consistently in all of your life rather than living a divided life, but it means at some point we might stand out for being different. Now, we have to wrestle with what it means to be different because, again, we're not to live different just for the sake of being different and being apart from everybody, but we're called to live differently for the sake of influence. Our difference should lead to influence. 